level. Oh, it's good. Let's do those models. One, two, Welcome to the inauguration of the Museum of Anthropology and Archaeology's uh, uh, up, uh, ex exhibition that we have here, the Westchester uh, 150 History and Heritage. I'm Michael DiGiovane. I'm an associate professor of anthropology, um, as well as the director of the museum and uh, the director of our museum studies program. The museum is actually located in the old library, not the new one that we're in now, the old library, but we uh, have another exhibition up right now. Uh, on Earth Day that was postponed from the COVID era, so, um, so that's there. And I'm very, very grateful to everyone, including the library staff, uh, John Valella, Mary Beth Henley, uh, for allowing us to be here in this, in this, in this great location. Um, the Museum Studies program is an interdisciplinary program uh, that fuses academic inquiry into kind of the history development of museums and nonprofit uh, and cultural organizations. Uh, as well as hands-on experiences. And the capstone of these experiences is that the students co-curate from start to finish uh, an entire exhibition. Now these exhibitions, if you, if you know anything about museums, you could do two, three years of planning. And I understand that's Mary Beth has been doing that and John for this, this whole uh, event. We had since January, we've worked first remotely and then in the summer, uh, we had about 15 students. Some of them were here, some of them graduated. Um, uh, working here diligently to put on this exhibition. Uh, they planned it, they researched it, uh, and we couldn't have done it without a number of people. They're all, the names are over there, but I did want to just call out a few other people. Uh, through the two important consultants, uh, Ann Kurlikowski, I don't know if Ann is here, is Ann here? Ann Kurlikowski uh, in history, really spent hours with my uh, students. Um, you know, going over the history, making sure they got everything right. And also Ron McCall, who I know is actually teaching a class right now. He's the special collections librarian. Many of the, the artifacts that you see on display are really from the library uh, special collections. Uh, we also have artifacts from LaSalle Museum of Art, Chester County History Center, uh, and a number, uh, Delaware Museum of Natural History, and a lot of other institutions that I want to thank. I want to thank Helen Hemmerschmidt, but of course Bill Scottling and the, and the Board of Trustees of the Alumni Association, uh, I'm glad you already presented the check because I'm also presenting my, uh, my reimbursement as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and of course, all of the students. I'm, I'm really, really uh, delighted. Uh, oh, and Tom, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. And our designer who designs all of our uh, exhibitions, Tom uh, Howie, uh, he, he especially has made um, the interactive uh, time capsule. So hopefully when we come in here, uh, you brought things that you can also deposit. If not, you can come back. Uh, we're, we're open, what do we say we're open next It'll week? 12? At noon, noon to four. Noon to four noon next to week. Um, there'll be students on hand to, uh, to, to give you a guided tour. I want to just say one thing. When they were thinking about uh, what to put in this, this is 150 years, right? They were really inspired by the whole, the theme of the entire sesquicentennial, history and heritage. And so we wanted to fuse a, a really robust history and timeline, which you're going to see on the walls, with, with material cultural heritage, right? Selections of, of things, right? Artifacts from 150 years from when we were in normal school after the Civil War to a state teacher's college in the Roaring Twenties uh, to a liberal arts college to the, the, the flagship uh, comprehensive fully public liberal arts university that we have here. Um, heritage. Heritage is stuff from the past, right, that we value and that we utilize in the present, but that we caretake and we pass on to the future. And so for that future part, we did have a time capsule uh, that we wanted to, you to uh, fill this, for this whole year, so come back with things. And uh, after, it's, after this um, sesquicentennial is over, we'll catalog everything, we'll, we'll put it in a time capsule, and then in the next 50 years, for the 200th anniversary, hopefully, we will open it. So I really thank uh, President uh, Fiorentino and Sue Fiorentino, uh, and I would love for you to cut the ribbon on, on this thing. If that's, if that's okay.
Are you ready? Three, Three two, two, one. I'm sorry, I forgot to thank you before. I brought a piatti. <laughs> so, so I brought a um, Beaker mug, uh, which is uh, which was a gift given to me when I first came here in 2018 from Dr. Melissa Chickowitz, who was the chair of the Department of Chemistry at the time. It was a very special gift that made me feel very welcomed, and that's why I kind of wanted it to touch the future Aww. this way. So, so. And, and Tom Walsh. Tom Walsh, class of 63, from our garden. I saved a couple of uh, pieces of demolition serpentine when Old Main was taken down, oh, and we're going to put that in yeah. to the time capsule. Yeah. I'm going to put some pictures of the students curating the exhibition in here as well. So, uh, I invite everybody else who, who would like to put something in to please uh, deposit it or to come back next time. Yeah. Andrea Verricchio retired in August of last year. Some little uh, promotional items that faculty received when we donated or different events. So oh, okay. some pins and other little things in the Sykes Union uh, bookstore bag. Oh, that's great. 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 Yeah, anybody Does anybody else have anything? They'd like to bring, to oh, I think what, I think you had. Uh, yes, Aaron and I have all of our research that we did for the timeline that we printed out. It's 101 pages of research on the university. Oh. Wow. 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 Come on. Okay. <laughs> Nobody put a mask in, Helen. I think. All right, I happen to have a mask. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good. Good. Anybody else? Well, thank you very thank much. You. Thanks for all the support, everybody, and thank you to the students especially. Yes. I think you did a wonderful job. Yes. So thank you. Very much.